But uh, a former writer is suing Vince, Stephanie, and other WWE executives. Brittany Abrahams filed suit against WWE in the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of New York on Monday. She's accusing company of releasing her after she objected to multiple instances of, quote, offensively racist and stereotypical jargon used in WWE scene scripts. SmackDown Vice President Ryan Callahan, former writers Chris Dunn and Mike Heller, Vice President Christine Lebrano, and writer Jen Pepperman are also listed as defendants. Documents related to the suit specifically mention scenes involving Bianca Belair and Apollo Crews, as ones Abrahams voiced objections to. Former writer is said to have raised concern regarding Cruz using a, quote, stereotypical and exaggerated Nigerian accent, and also objected to a scene where Beller was scripted to say, uh-uh, don't make me take off my earrings and beat your ass. Abraham sent an email to Callahan regarding Beller's scene saying, I know I'm new, I'm not trying to be disrespectful or step on Dunn's or anyone's toes, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention that Ms. Beller's scene includes racial jargon and offensive stereotypes, particularly her go-home line. The suit alleges that Belair also objected to the line, telling Dunn three different times that I don't want to say that line, but he never listens to me. He puts that line in every week. Belair is alleged to have said the line would make her sound, quote, ghetto. After Abraham's objections were rebuffed, she says the company pretextually terminated her for taking home a special WrestleMania 38 branded chair in April of 2022. Her lawyers argue that doing so is a common practice. She was told doing so was okay, and white male writers were not punished for the same offense. Abrahams had been with the company since 2020. Court documents state she continued to be subjected to racist pitches on a WWE Slack channel after she voiced her objection to the scenes involving Bel Air and Cruz. It is alleged that a storyline involving Reggie, scripts, dressing in drag was scrapped, only after a white writer objected, stating viewers would be offended. Reggie would have teamed with Carmella had the storyline gone forward. Another storyline mentioned in the suit would have involved Shane Thorne as a crocodile hunter type gimmick. And he would hunt Reggie, quote, for fun. He's hunting him? In a nutshell, she said hunting gimmick pitch for new wrestlers Shane Thorne and Reggie was, quote, since Shane is Australian... We would make him a crocodile hunter, and instead of crocodiles, he hunts people. Holding Reggie captive in cages was also discussed. Several allegations were also made against writer Jen Pepperman, including that she, quote, discriminatorily treated plaintiff and other black and African-American WWE employees poorly compared to to their similarly situated white and Caucasian counterparts. It is also alleged that Callahan pitched a story where Muslim wrestler Mansoor would be revealed to have been, quote, behind the 9-11 attacks. I don't want to laugh, but Mansoor would have been behind 9-11. Can you find out how old Mansoor is now for me, just out of curiosity? All right. Mansoor is 27 years old, born in 1995. 1995, 9-11. So he would have been... 2001. He would have been six. Six. Okay. Anyway, there's a lot of other things here. Uh, but uh, you can read it all on the front page because it, be, it would be quite a while. But... Uh, when Abrahams and other writers brought concerns regarding this to WWE Vice President Christine Lebrano, she allegedly responded, quote, wacky things are said in the writer's room all the time. And I know, but look at the waves we're making in the company. Four years ago, no woman worked on the writer's team. Lebrano was also alleged to have said, quote, I heard it was a joke regarding Callahan's comments. Presumably that is that Mansoor would be behind 9-11 when he was six anyway i don't know what to make of any of this except my guess is that based on everything that's going on with wwe and uh endeavor right now that this would probably be settled quickly be my guess the main event i was so disgusted why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him 
Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There were the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, Inter- I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Mm-hmm. Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> it doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. And by E. By E? It said by E. Big E. Big E. Okay. Big E. (laughs) (laughs) For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Comic book villain. I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.